couldn't ask for any more than this. Perfect afternoon at the Adelaide Oval. A Saturday afternoon match of the round. The ladder leader versus the reigning Premier. They're the champs, let's, let's be honest. They're the, they're the team everyone's trying to beat. Um, you know, we, we know nothing short of our absolute best is going to get the job done and we, we've got to be right up for this game. And uh, you know, I think we're ready to have a crack at it. Challenge them with our game as best we possibly can. As I said, we need to find out uh, against the best team in the competition over the last three years and this is a great test. Oh, look, Scott's, Scott's is a, a good achievement at 100 games, but the two boys were playing their 150 is outstanding. The, the, way, the way both boys have gone about it, they've got quite different careers, but it's remarkable that together they've reached the 150 milestone in our 150th year. It's, there's something about it, isn't it? There's a little bit of something going on there when you think those two boys together have you know, done a lot of things together and good on them. They'll play uh, footy together tomorrow in, in the 150th game and I'll, they'll remember it because they're great mates too. They're not just teammates, they're great mates, those two fellas. Connor Rosie was ready to go, he was in the warm-up, in fact he was dressed, he was ready to go. We're hearing a little bit of heel soreness, so that's unfortunate because he's one of the young stars of the game that we love to watch, but an opportunity for uh, Cam Sutcliffe. Very busy already is both. Here they go. The young man, Woodcock, had his first goal last week stripped off him by a score review. Here's a chance for Adams. He's kicked oh. one oh. he? he kicked one last week. He's playing as a forward this week, and he kicks one of the goals of the year. There's the inside kick towards the top of the square, and Charlie, he's going to cross the air out of that ball one day. When he grabs it, it stays grabbed. In the meantime, Charlie Dixon. Splendid start for this top of the ladder contest. Ball filled out for Farrell. He turns it over. Dalton trying to sidestep a couple. That's a throw. He can play under advantage here, Port Adelaide. Butters shoots the handle inboard. Long kick towards goal. Looks like an absolute ripper. They've all combined, and Robbie Gray the finisher. Hunting down a common metal perhaps if he finishes the season off well. And he's missed that. Golden opportunity to make it a four goal to nil a start. And he's missed it. Paul with the extra behind the ball. They get in each other's way. Lynch, a soda, strolls in. And boy, did they need that. He knocks it forward. This is magnificent athleticism. Chol goes down, picks it up, swoops on the ball, gets the handle over the top. That's great football. He sets it up for Revol. Mario Chol, stand up. We salute you. That was magnificent. Kicked a mongrel punt, but it's marked by Lynch, who goes long and strong. It's gone from one end to the other. Jack goes up. He's got the free kick. Yeah, it has to be a free kick against Joe. Against, oh, I thought it was against Dustin Martin. He gave one of the best shows you've ever seen, Dustin Martin. He pushed him into Rewalt. This is an extraordinary decision. Have a listen to the crowd. They are going berserk over there at Adelaide Oval. It's got away from Power Pepper. Slams it on the boot long. Dusty! Not the second grab. Not the way Burn Jones had come at him. Burn Jones, Dersma, handle started. Rewalt dropped it. The crowd go crazy again. Still no free. Dusty goals. Wow!
let's get into the action, everybody. It's a nine-point ball game. Port Adelaide 8-6-54, Richmond 7-3-45. The race is on. Robbie Gray, Broad gets there first. Both the superstars of Port Adelaide coming together. Robbie Gray over the top. Dixon from the pocket. He can't kick one. Oh. And in front, but he kicks one from five rows into the stand. How good was that? Holding it up, not much power in that right arm as we saw. Dixon gets to the front shot. Here's a chance, a shot at the goal, he's put it through. That is sensational for Ollie Wines. Ollie Wines just hit the pack at 100 miles an hour, puts it through. And Jack, up he goes, put the right, comes to the ground. Snap it, goal from Arts, he's got it. Career goal number 12. Sydney Stack comes in and Richmond hit the front at Adelaide Oval. One point margin, final term underway. Wines gets the clearance, kicks to attacking 50. Floston stood in the whole world. Boulder feeds the handball. Stolen by Butters. Way enough. Through Butter. Robbie Gray, a brilliant goal. To Pope. His kick is a beauty to the hot spot. Up they go. From behind. It's picked up by Houston. Houston, no problem at all. Solo in the right, knocks it down. Dustin Barton time now. Leans down, picks it up, they pick it up. Ball. Rockcliffe has a couple of mounds and verbs. It's 50. It's another 50 50. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is done. Oh my goodness. Just a leap off time. That's just done for four. You can see why Damien Hardwick has gone spare in the coach's box. Three goals in two minutes, and Port lead by 17. Rory Gray says, let's hold it up. The siren sounds. What a game. Players live for moments like this, for playing games like this. And fans watch for games like this. Hope you enjoyed it. As much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Now they play the ground very well. Um, we always sort of knew if we did lose centre bounce, we probably were going to be on the back foot. It follows a common, common trait, this ground. So we've got to get that better um, from our point of view. Um, but as I said, there's a reason they're um, top of the ladder. They play a great brand of footy. They're exciting to watch and you know, they're very dynamic. They use their speed really well. But in fairness, I thought for, for three quarters of the game, we're pretty, pretty solid as well. Look, I, I love the way they play. They attack the game and I think they're, you know, I sit there and look at one of the sides that I'd pay money to watch, I'd be one of those sides.